Welcome back, folks. I'm Manic Mink. This is XCOM Enemy Within, and, uh... When we last hey, left off, we were still in the tutorial. Ooh. Uh, which is unfortunate, because I'd like to, sort of... ...maneuver my people a bit better... ...than this, currently. And like I said, don't worry, we will be restarting this after, uh... Adieu. After we, uh... Sort of complete the tutorial, you know? Affirmative. Uh, and of course, you are the only one who doesn't have a... Great job. Shooting at that. It's an alien, I think, pooping on a corpse. I don't know. Possibly. Down. X ray on the move, they're flanking us. Yeah, again, we'll be restarting this, don't worry. Um, just. Um, if only just because I'd prefer. Oh, like, I'd like to have a med kit. You know, I'd like to have. Uh, Affirmative. Nailed him. You know, I'd like to have a med kit. I would like to have, uh... Let's go for, uh, there. I'd like to be able to sort of, uh, make my own... ...squad and plans and not have to just follow the tutorial forever. But this was, uh... I know, this is an interesting thing, because I've never actually done this part of the tutorial with, um... With all of the, uh... The new, the new additions, I suppose you would say. Uh, let's... Hmm, let's, uh, get you down... Here, yeah, maybe? See. Yeah, that should work. I'm kind of moving a bit backwards to do that, but uh, I want to make sure that everyone is Let's do this. in some semblance of cover. Signature coming from that device implies the soft destruct mechanism is still intact and priming for detonation. You need to move quickly to recover it before it's too late. I'm good. I love self destruct mechanisms, you know? Marines are up there, which means you're back up on the roof. Uh, just because I think I can get a better shot from up here than I can from where I'm at currently. Rolling out.
let's move you over there. Well done, Commander. Recovering this hey, material good for us. give us a leg up on whatever it is the aliens are developing. I'm sure the doctors will be eager to get started. New substance is remarkable. It's no wonder the aliens wish to witness its effects on human physiology. If we can direct the, those efforts to our own ends, however, those experiments may prove a major Remember, miscalculation. We will be watching. Commander, good news. The Council has donated a satellite. Our current satellite uplink facility can support up to two satellites, so I recommend we launch the new one immediately. Oh, giving me a free satellite, though, that's... I like that. Yeah, we'll go for the U.S. Satellite uplink facility. With this additional satellite in place, we've gained a significant upgrade to our overall cup. At maximum capacity. You're telling me that we should risk the lives of our troops so we can take one of these things alive? Yes. Without a live specimen, I'm afraid we've reached the pinnacle of what my team is able to accomplish. And how do you suggest we do this, Doctor? The autopsy I've just completed confirms that the alien's physiology is quite similar to our own. A highly concentrated electrical current delivered at close range should cause neuromuscular... Close range? And what happens if it doesn't work? Do you really think this is worth the risk? I do. We do not know our enemy. How can we hope to stop something that we do not understand? If we can capture one of these creatures alive, we may be able to communicate with it. And interrogate it. Find out what they want. Where they're operating from. Yes. That possibility outweighs all risks, in my opinion. I could construct a safe enough facility to house our captive, but I do not know how we could possibly communicate with it. Not to worry. I will see to that. All right. I'll speak to the commander. Okay, so we have our new mission. We managed to successfully map the aliens, uh, alien specimen's entire genome, although I wasn't entirely sure it would be possible using our existing DNA sequencing techniques. However, our success led to the starting realization that this creature's genetic structure is quite similar to our own. This discovery has piqued the interest of the research team as it only raises more questions as the origin of this species. Uh, having examined several of the alien co corpses, we've also observed a trend. Uh, key components of the alien's genetic structure are mirrored perfectly across the, each of the specimens, although it is presumptive at this point to draw conclusions uh, as to how this is possible, although it's only logical to assume that this alien is a product of aggressive genetic engineering, well beyond anything conceived of on Earth. If the aliens are truly capable of this sort of manipulation at a cellular level, I fear we may only have to scratch the surface of their technological advantages over us. In any case, further research is imperative, and while we're obviously made a number of discoveries working with the alien corpse, I feel we need to acquire a live specimen. Commander, based on Dr. Valen's report, I recommend we begin researching the new weapon she's calling the Arc Thrower in the labs. Once completed, we can send the plans down to engineering for fabrication, and then equip one of our troops with it in the barracks. Dr. Shen and the engineering team are also waiting on approval for construction of the containment facility that we'll need in order to house the alien captive. Commander to engineering. Commander to engineering. <sighs> Commander. No doubt you are aware of Dr. Valen's request to capture one of the aliens. A sound plan, but she fails to realize that we lack a facility to safely contain a live specimen. With your approval, my team and I will begin construction of a suitable facility. Build facilities. Build facility. Yes. See, that's the thing. I kind of want to start over and not have this tutorial thing going on, just because, um, you know, it's a bit sort of... I wouldn't be building an alien containment facility. i build another satellite uplink, you know, uh, because I, I would want to get satellites up and running, and alien containment really Thank not you, as important. Commander. I'll let you... Commander, to the research... 
Commander. I'm sure you've been briefed on my request. So now we have to build an arc thrower kind of thing. Um, actually, I'll start with that. Commander, we're picking up widespread radio chatter indicating you... Okay, then scan for activity. Satellite coverage now available. It looks like that satellite we launched paid off. We're picking up an unidentified fast mover. If we scramble an interceptor now, we may be able to take it down. And then this is the, uh, the sort of shoot down UFOs section of the game. We have eyes on the bandit. Okay, so we shot down our first UFO. We have a confirmed kill on bogey 001. I repeat, the UFO is down. I'll copy, over. Solid copy, Voodoo 37. Nice work. Central left. All right, people. Retask Recon Satellite Bravo and get me a visual on that crash site. She's coming into range now, sir. On screen. Magnify. Still in one piece. Commander, I recommend we get a strike team to the crash site immediately. Okay, so we'll send our Sky Ranger. Uh, and yeah, everybody's fine. Because uh, we don't have... Do we? Do we have anyone who... Uh... Oh good, automatically unequips that when we, uh, when we, uh, go back to the infirmary, it looks like. Touching down. Unfortunately, again, because this is not, uh... Our target site is near the German border. <sighs> talking. Oh good. It looks like the aliens oh, no. went down in a sparsely populated area. If there are civilians in the area, I hope they stay clear. Anyways, what I was trying to say is that uh, if, if this were the actual game, I'd have people equipped a bit differently. I'd have a med kit. Um, I'd probably have a bit more body armor on people, but instead we have, you know, one thing of body armor and everybody else just wearing, using grenades. Wearing grenades, yeah. That's a, that's a thing, right? Loud and clear, Big Sky. We'll monitor okay. those readings from here. Strike one is authorized to assault the alien craft. Uh, we'll move you up there. And hunker down. Looks like the crash site is dead ahead. We should expect heavy resistance here. There's no telling how many hostiles were on board. Approach the craft with caution and attempt a breach if possible. Now, of course, we also have to get to that in time, so that it does not, uh, does not, you know, explode. Terrible at reaction shots. Heading to that location. Hey, we actually hit you. That's impressive. Uh, and you, let's. close as we can up to that, and then next turn we'll be able to open that. You're on Overwatch, so I want to kill you first. Damn 
enemy is still alive. Let's, uh, can I hit you with a grenade wherever you are? I think I can. Can I maybe? No, I said grenade. I said grenade. No, I can't hit you with a grenade. Okay, so we're just gonna take a shot at you. And of course we'll miss, yeah. them. Go ahead and run away. Ah, frustrating. Wait, why do I care? This doesn't even matter. This isn't even, uh, this is the tutorial. Let's, uh... You up to here. He's down. Kill you, so that's good. Uh, and then... all over there, so I'd like to get up to maybe here. Okay, so that'll be one turn left on the thing before it explodes, but that's okay. We'll pick it up. Headshot that didn't do headshot levels of damage. Yes, Commander. I need ammo. Damn it, missed the target. Je rejoins la position. And I'll put a smoke grenade here to protect us for a bit. Let's move you up to... Reloaded. Put you in Overwatch, I guess. is still intact. They've got some kind of energy field protecting parts of the ship. We'll have to look for an opening. Good job. Pistol kill. 
Uh, unless you get a specific perk when you level up, you can't, as a sniper, uh, both move and shoot, just so you guys know. Uh, we're actually going to let this run. Uh, let's... Hunker down. You up here. Where is that other node going to be? Is it going to be in here? Possibly. To withstand an impact like that, at such a velocity, the materials used in that vessel's hull must be at least an order That's of magnitude beyond That's their weird-ass commander guy. Our readings can't be right. If they were, that's a being of almost pure energy. The readings coming from that creature are like nothing I've ever seen. Mission accomplished. So once we wrap up with the tutorial, I will uh, stop, and we will we will sort of take it out for our own our own spin after. Sort of giving everybody a decent introduction to everything. Welcome back, Commander. I wanted to speak to you about our current fleet of interceptors. It's crucial that we keep several of these aircraft on high alert. We'll need them to intercept any future alien contacts, and it's likely we'll suffer some losses in the process. I think it's also worth mentioning that even a full squadron of interceptors will do no good against our enemy if we don't know where they are. Additional satellite coverage will be required before we are able to detect alien craft elsewhere on the planet. Visit us in engineering should you wish to build additional satellites. Goodbye, Commander. Okay. All right, and that is that is officially the end of the tutorial. I believe Dr. Vaughn expects our troops to try to bring one of those things back here in one piece, much less alive. Yes, yes, we get it. Uh, so that's the tutorial. That's we've suffered a number of casualties and haven't found suitable replacements yet. We need to start hiring additional soldiers through the barracks. And hire more soldiers. Blah blah blah. Medals. Uh, oh yeah, you can uh, you can assign medals before you can. A med kit, some sort of miss. Two more HPs. Never panic as a result of enemy and allies getting wounded or killed. Uh, and award medal to say you. You've been you've been the best so far, Melissa. You are. Do 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 do. You got a medal. That was the worst salute I've ever seen. Thank you for that. Uh, so yeah, you get medals and stuff to uh, to give to people. Um, engineering research. I realize our troops have to put their own survival first, but every alien we use explosives against is one less opportunity to recover new artifacts. So yeah, that's that. We're going to pick this up next time with the official sort of uh, start of our game. And uh, yeah, well, it'll be exciting. I'm Manic Mink. This is XCOM Enemy Within, and this has been the tutorial. See you in episode one next time. Take care.